have struggled to get some sleep. One thing I have considered is therapy. Just being able to get some weight off my shoulders might just help me release some stress and anxiety and finally let me get that sleep I deserve. So thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring tonight's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service. It is 100% online. So to those who do not feel comfortable with in-person um, interactions, there are phone calls, text messages, video chats, whatever makes you feel comfortable. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists that can help with a wide range of issues. To get us started, you can click the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com forward slash Preston's ASMR. You will then answer just a few questions about your needs and preferences. That way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist. Then you will be able to schedule a therapy session at a time that is best for you. If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Once again, you can visit the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com forward slash presence ASMR. This helps support my channel and gets you 10% off your first month. Thanks again, BetterHelp. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. What is up, everybody? What is up, what is up, what is up? I hope, I hope you are having such a good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night. In tonight's ASMR video, I will just be chatting, whispering, whispering deep, deep, deep in your ears. And hopefully I give you the tingles, the tingles, the tingles. Help you sleep. Anyway, that's one random story I can think of. I also 
remember this house had a pretty big bathtub. It, it, it was like a three, like a triangle. It was like a triangle bathtub. Don't know why you need to fit three people in there, but, but it was a big bathtub. <laughs> it, it was a nice house. Um, my aunt and, and uncle used to live with us too. That was a little earlier that I can remember though. One thing I could remember about the house though is we had two dogs, two dogs, two Labradors. One was chocolate and one was um, just black. Uh, yeah, black. Um, yeah, there's a chocolate lab, golden lab, black for other colors. Anyway, the black one was called Angel and her mom was the, the chocolate lab. terrified of them. They'd run in the backyard and they're so big. I didn't want to get knocked over. And like really, like one of my first um, like experiences where I got a love for animals came from like when they were being rambunctious and Angel, the, the black lab, I was crying standing on the, sitting on like steps hiding from them because I didn't want to get ran over. And she came up to me and like was very gentle. So that was very sweet. I've liked, liked dogs since then. That dog was my password for a while. It's not no more, so don't try to get any ideas, but... Yeah, we had a trampoline there. It's pretty fun. I remember my, um, my stepbrother fell out of it one time, I think. It's funny to me, but it's probably not funny to him. a net, but he, he went right through it. I remember that game used to play on the trampoline. We'd always WWE wrestle, like we'd always wrestle each other. Like all me and my cousins and stuff. Um, we love WWE. But one thing we used to do is, you know, like when you go to a fair, or like a place where you can play fair games and win stuff, they used to have big exercise balls with like a basketball like wrap around it so it looked like colorful or like had like a soft fabric covering it. It was like a big basketball. My mom won like I think three of them at one time. I don't know why. I don't know how or why but she got three big um, like exercise balls. And one person would stand on the outside of the tramp and the rest of us would be jumping on the inside. Talk. 
was, I think it was like half beagle, half um, chihuahua. And it took off, it took off down the street and we were trying to catch it. And up the street, um, two neighbor boys helped us catch the dog and um, their names were Daniel and Derek. It'd be awkward if they were watching this right now. I don't think they would, but um, yeah. At the time, those were our, our best friends, my best friends. Because um, I always just hung out with the cousins. Like, my cousins were always around, so I never really needed to, like, make friends because I always had someone. But um, they were, like, actual friends that would come over. So that was nice. Um, they were also Hispanic. And I remember their distinct smell of their house. Like, if you are Hispanic. Like, don't take offense to this, but there is a distinct smell that I'm like, it like, I correlate with them, because like, sometimes it, yeah, sometimes it kind of smells the same. I don't even know how to describe it either, there's just a distinct smell of their house. And like, we always played video games, that was like the biggest thing was like, just growing up on the newest video games and stuff. arguments and random dumb the stupidest things ever <laughs> like one argument we had was when Bruno Mars came out with the song Grenade I'll sing the, the right lyrics okay and he goes I'll catch a grenade for you I'll um wait what <laughs> I'll put my hand on a blade for you I'm pretty sure and I I would jump in front of a train for you. Okay, and here's where the argument started. I was like, and this is like before, and YouTube I think was barely around, so it wasn't like we were on YouTube looking up lyrics and stuff. Like I'm pretty sure it was harder to find stuff. But we were arguing about what the lyrics actually said, because I thought being dumb me, it said I'll jump in front of a tree. A non-movable object, a tree. And my friend, obviously knowing that it's a train, because that would make the most sense, was like, no, it's a train. And we would just argue, and I was like, no. I was like, why would he jump in front of a train? Like, that's so dumb. <laughs> like, yeah, anyway, I was wrong. I remember at the house also getting, like, my first iPod and, like, my first experience with the YouTube it's crazy how far it's come because I would have never thought to make content like I was never the type to film myself ever like I would I would never turn the camera on me but to some people that was just like their instinct was to film themselves it wasn't until I graduated high school that I was like mm, I want to do YouTube it was it was never even like an idea for me I never thought like oh I want to do YouTube until I graduated high school so just, I don't know it's just weird And yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't spoken to those neighbors in a very, 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 very long time. The one whose name was Derek is my age, and the other one, his brother Daniel, was a few years older than me. And I had the most random encounter uh, encounters with them. So I moved from this blue house to another house. It was also just down the street. <laughs> like they're all pretty close together. Um, so I never saw them again until one day, like randomly, that kid Derek shows up in my neighborhood playing with other kids. Well, not playing. They're hanging out. It's a little bit older now. Um, and this neighborhood, keep in mind, is a gated, 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 gated community. Uh, it's not super fancy like you might think it is. Uh, it's not, we're not in like a very rich area, so it's, it's, yeah, but it's gated. Um, so I thought it was weird that like, oh, whoa, he just randomly showed up. That's crazy. But it was nice, it's nice to see him. And then his older brother randomly saw him at um, Zupa's. So like, yeah, it's the most random things when like you get those like, memories back like they just hit you because they are very good memories a lot of the times they'd get locked out of their house and like they just stay at our house for a while
six years ago at most. But that six years feels like so much has changed. And I was talking to my cousin about this ever since COVID. Like, I feel like for, for a lot of people, time just kind of skipped. Like, it just stopped and it skipped. Like, you didn't really get further ahead. You didn't really change much. But the year, like, skipped like four years. And now we're 2024. Like, what are we doing now? <laughs> I do have an ASM though, which is nice and it has grown. I still live at home and some people like got sick and they just yeah just I've been at home remember hashtag stay at home during covid I just graduated high school so like I was still just figuring stuff out you know I want to try some more younger I had no care in the world literally I could give not two shits about what anyone thought of me or about what I was doing I had never cared um, a lot of people would make fun of me for just random things but I wouldn't know they were making fun of me I would just like laugh you know and like options that I liked maybe 
and then now it's just like it's never ending which is good for ASMR content connoisseurs I think that's con connoisseurs I like watching ASMR more variety more variety it's a crazy 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 I don't know if it's just me but do you ever like look back on a memory that like you were happy and like you get really sad because like you're like oh man I wish I can like feel that again you know see that person again but Sorry, I'm just gonna take those off. Also, please let me know if you like the like limited editing. I swear, I swear, I never like edit out parts in this video. Like taking the switch, like the trigger switching them. Like I never edit that out. But I don't know if you guys like that or not. I personally have like I don't know if it's maybe I'm conditioned now, but I constantly like. I'm always tapping my screen to skip 10 seconds to skip 10 seconds. It's like if there's like a, a part where it's on taking a while to grab a trigger, I, I just skip it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not editing that out for you. So I don't know if you guys, I could, I could if you want me to. I could. Maybe 
one day there will be like um, like going live but seeing the audience like with their cameras on like almost like a zoom but like more like a meta maybe like you see someone else's like avatar I'm excited for the future alright I'm gonna I'm gonna go now <laughs>